This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Burger King is now coming out with their newest burger in honor, of course, of the TV show Stranger Things, so they say, called the Upside Down Whopper. Now, people hear when I talk about stuff like this and they just go, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're taking things out of proportion. But what people don't understand is how important inverting things are. Inversion and doing things backwards is one of the universal laws in the occult and Satanism taught by their hero, Aleister Crowley. Now, I get it, and I'm not saying this. I always like to say this because it's insane. When I, I'm serious. When I, like I, I talk about cell phones and something like that, people are like, am I going to go to hell because I have an iPhone? And I don't know if they're trolling or not. I have to assume they are, but you never know with some people. I'm not saying if you eat a Whopper, an upside-down Whopper, that you're going to hell. I'm not saying you're a bad person. Now, you're highly likely to need a diaper when eating the upside-down wiper. That's wiper, whopper. You're going to need a wipe, too, after. And you're highly likely to be eating something that's not real meat. At least not beef from a cow. You know, meat from somewhere else. That is highly likely. So... The frightening part about the Upside Down Whopper is really just what you're eating. Not so much the Stranger Things theme, the Upside Down and Stranger Things. Which people are, oh, it's so scary and stuff like that. I've seen Stranger Things. This Whopper and what's inside your food at McDonald's, Burger King, and these places is a lot scary. I'll tell you that much. But the reason that they do stuff like this, and really the whole reason around Stranger Things and the Upside Down, is how they normalize inversion. You have to remember that the occult teaches them to read the Bible backwards. They do things in reverse. Remember the videos I did? Not just the ones. You, know, you can start with the videos I've done on backmasking, where people just don't seem to understand how the brain can actually process things in reverse because they refuse to believe it. Even though actual scientists, or even though we know they're scammers, have admitted that the brain can process things in reverse. People are like, oh, that's crazy. Backmasking has been... It's been debunked uh, because, you know, everyone said it with, uh, you know, uh, Helter Skelter and all that stuff with the Beatles. That's not true. Your brain can actually process words in reverse. And that's one of the reasons that these witches and occultists use music so they can back mask you and program you and put spells on you. But not so much talking about the back masking. Let's talk about the inversion. They read the Bible backwards for a reason. They believe God in heaven is, is the evil one, that Satan is their hero. That's the one that they worship. Remember recently I talked about the Christmas tree? It's becoming a trend to have upside-down Christmas trees. And people were going nuts. They're like, oh, man, you know, he's, a, he's out of his mind. He thinks it's satanic. Like, uh, hold on. W where's the explanation of why someone, for starters, would want an upside-down Christmas tree? I mean, isn't it enough of a nightmare for people to put up a normal Christmas tree, whether it's real or fake, assemble the damn thing, put the lights on it? Imagine putting it on your roof. But people are like, oh no, it's just some artistic, quirky thing, and Ariana Grande and all these Satanists are promoting it. No, it's because they invert the things that they do. Now this, like I said, goes back to what Aleister Crowley taught all of his followers. LeVay even taught it, even though they, you know, everybody likes to pretend, well, LeVay, well, yeah, LeVay kind of was like the more watered-down version, but LeVay followed and worshipped Crowley's teachings. The thing with LeVay was that in his Satanic Bible, he created something to lead people away from Crowley, to make people think that Satanism was more about, uh, you know, religious freedoms and those types of things, and not a deity and stuff like that. And that's where the big confusion comes in. But what Crowley would do is what's called the occult law of reversal. And in a lot of his classes, he instructed in his home, the house that I exposed up there in Loch Ness, he would teach his students that this is the major law of Satan. Those who want fame and power and all that type of stuff, casting spells, demons beckoning at their calling, that they needed to recognize the God, the Godhead within is, what's, is what they believe, which is pretty lame and pathetic, if you ask me. But, I mean, again, that's the M.O. of Satanism. If you're, if you're worshiping Satan, you got to be pretty embarrassed. But what he would teach them is to practice talking, walking, thinking and doing things like playing records and stuff like that in reverse because it's a form of
of divination. And this is something that's warned against in the Bible. Divination is warned against. Now, one of the things you can even see in magic and the occult is the pentagram, right? The pentagram, which is the most common symbol. It really, it, the pentagram you'll see more than you'll see the pyramid and the all-seeing eye, which is the star. I think you see it on almost every sports team's you know, uniforms, all these common clothes that celebrities wear. You'll see it on, um, you know, wrestlers. I mean, I've covered this so many times over. People, People's barn doors. They're like, yeah, it's a star. It represents that blinking thing in the sky. No, it don't. doesn't one bit. It represents the occult. It's an occult symbol. The star is an occult symbol. It just doesn't have the lines crossed through it. The lines crossed through it have nothing, nothing to do with the five points. It's about the five points in the star. But... What we're told and what we're supposed to believe is this common symbol of the actual pentagram is good magic, right? Oh, it's just witchcraft. It's good magic. And then the inverted, which is what the satanic temple and all these Satanists use, is the upside down pentagram. So witches use the, you know, the, the, the one pointing up. The others use the one. The Satanists use the one pointing down. And this one pointing down is supposed to represent the Baphomet, right? And that's why we see the Baphomet face drawn inside the upside down pentagram the reason that you constantly see things like the upside down the upside down tree the upside down star and all of those things is because this is a cult mindset this is a cult teaching believing what is good is bad and what is bad is good right and that's over here right? as above so below. they believe that what is bad in this world is good and what is good in this world is bad and that's how they turn this world into a cesspool right so I know people go, well, Burger King's only doing it because they, they, you know, they, they got into a contract with Netflix and Stranger Things, and they're just doing it for marketing purposes. First of all, anyone can eat a Whopper upside down. Anyone can eat a hamburger upside down. You can eat anything upside down, really. I mean, you can't drink a soda upside down unless you're, I don't know, hanging on your roof. But it's the mindset of these things. See, one of the reasons Stranger Things is becoming like such a, a national phenomenon. Yeah, and I get people being like, well, it's a great show. It's a great show because people love it and they're mind controlled by it. But they're normalizing the term upside down. We currently are living in the upside down. They've taken this world and flipped it upside down, right? And think about it, The things that we think are normal are not normal anymore, right? Like trans kids, something that we would say, it's so mindful. A hundred years ago, imagine if there was trans kids, five-year-olds changing their drink, their gender. I mean, would people's heads blow up? What would, like, Doc Holliday in the Wild Wild West, what would those guys do if a five-year-old kid came in and drank? I mean, it's insane to even think about it. But what they've done is they've taken this world and they've inverted it. They've flipped what's normal, what's perceived as right, and they've made that wrong, and they've made what's wrong right. So I don't really need to read much from the article about you know, why Burger King's doing it. And they're just like, oh, the retro sci-fi phenomenon that's coming back to Netflix. Because of that, Burger King is coming out with the upside down hamburger. Like, anybody would want to eat a burger upside down, you know? I mean, is there anything going to fall out? I mean, I don't know. I guess you could technically do it. I, I don't know. I've never tried it. I don't plan on it. But it's social engineering. It's just more social conditioning to getting used to the inversion of things, right? And that's the whole purpose of the term upside down. This all goes, everything that they do, just like what I talked about with Strange Angel, they are normalizing Aleister Crowley's teachings, right? The moonwalk. Oh, yeah, Michael Jackson's like, I'm going to walk backwards. It's the coolest thing. And then what they do, they say it's the coolest thing ever. So everything that they do, that they push in the mainstream media, is to normalize the stuff that they used to do in darkness. They don't do it in darkness anymore. They do it right in front of our faces. So, I mean, they even say, oh, the upside-down Whopper is pretty much an upside-down Whopper. <laughs> no crap. So, can I just buy a regular Whopper and then just eat it upside-down? No, because they want to use social engineering to push this as a marketing ploy and mind-control people into normalizing upside-down and an inversion. Because that's what they do with everything. They take everything, they ruin everything, they taint everything. And they always put their satanic stamp on it. You know, I've done videos on the upside down, the, uh, and Stranger Things and the upside down. I've done videos on the upside down tree, all this stuff. And it's always one of those videos that I do in the Satan, the satanic temple. All the Satanists always seem to come out of the woodwork, very bothered by it. And they're like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And it's like, yeah, the 
the actual thought of an upside down Christmas tree is the stupidest thing anyone's ever heard. Not even to mention how stupid the tree itself is. And this Nimrod worship, but that's another story for another time of the year. But they seem to be bothered by the fact that when these things start to get exposed, because they have to normalize it and make sure that people aren't suspicious of why these things are going on. Because that's how they continue to get their agendas across, how they continue to program people people slowly like they're doing right now. So, yeah, I know people are going to look and they're going to go, what a stupid video. He's saying that the upside-down whopper is satanic. I'm saying inversion is a tactic and a massive belief, a tactic, I should say, by the mainstream media to invert things like the tree and like the upside down in the show and all the other stuff I've talked about. But the goal is to brainwash people into the Aleister Crowley teachings and mindset, the do with that will mindset. And that's what we see going on every day. So Burger King, obviously, you know, the owner of Burger King, we know it's all Satanists. We know what they're putting the food. Like I said earlier, the scariest thing about Stranger Things and the Upside Down burger isn't anything to do with the TV show. It's the whatever they're putting in the burger, which we all know what it is. But I'm not allowed to say it because it's like, oh, it's slander against the company. Well, we know it ain't real meat. We'll tell you that much. And thank you for listening to today's show. Keep your eye out for even little marketing tactics like this because this is how they continue to mind control people and, with you know, Almost like innocently, because they know that people, if they hear something like this from someone like me, they'll go, this guy's crazy. He's going, if I eat the Whopper, I'm burning in hell. Like, that's nothing that I'm saying. I'm telling you why the Upside Down and Net, why that in Stranger Things it exists, why things are inverted, why it's a marketing ploy. Because everything they do is inverted and in reverse. This is how they operate. This is the occult law of reversals, which has been going on for a long time since that's, oh, I can't say that word. Let's just say since their buddy Crowley existed here on Earth. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.